Hello! Because my gas mask series about things movies and games got wrong about gas masks is so loved and hated by a lot of people, I thought I'd do another video on it. And this is going to be one of the faults I see come up over and over and over again in lots of films and games and nobody cares about correcting it. Um, so I'll mention it here. Now I may have briefly mentioned it in other videos but I'll demonstrate it here. So it's where somebody has a balaclava on under a gas mask or some sort of hood on their head like a ski mask or whatever or a balaclava, you know, any of these under a gas mask and the gas mask still works where in reality it wouldn't. Now I'm sure some of you will notice if you have a sort of hood type thing like this in reality you have the mask then you have what's called a flash hood or a chemical hood over the mask. Um, the flash hood is a fire retardant hood that's designed so if you throw flash bangs or breach windows and doors um, your mask doesn't set on fire. The flash hood's like a flame retardant hood. The chemical hood, for obvious reasons, is an extra chemical resistant hood that you can put on top of the mask. They're worn on top of the mask for good reason. Because if you wore them on your head under the mask, what would actually happen is it blocks the mask from making a face tight seal. So let me demonstrate how this works. So let me put the S10 on first. And I will just show you at pressure check. So I know there's no filter on it, but it doesn't matter for this video. So as you can see, the S10 pressure checks. So, what we're going to do now is switch this to the balaclava type hood. It's warm weather, so it's not nice having this on. So now we've got the balaclava on. And we'll put the mask over the top. doesn't pressure check. The reason being that all around the hood it's not making an airtight seal because this material is blocking the mask from making an airtight seal. It doesn't seal. And as far as I'm aware it will not matter what mask you wear when you have a balaclava or hood on under a mask you cannot get an airtight seal because the mask doesn't mould itself around your face. Um, what it's doing is it's sitting on the material. Um, and obviously if you look at this you can see there's lots of places in it where air can come around it. Some of these materials are breathable as well. Which means obviously um, air is coming through the hood into your sort of face as well. So it would not protect you from chemicals. But that is one of the things that I pretty much watch any film where you have special forces or you know anything like that on counter-terrorist guys uh, or game. They've always got like some sort of balaclava on, and then they've got the gas mask over the balaclava. This is also done extremely wrong in some things, where people have NBC suits on, and then they've got the mask on over the NBC suit hood. So, um, you know, the mask's giving you no protection in a full-on NBC environment, not even like, oh, they're wearing a gas mask for intimidation effect sort of thing. Nope. Um, full-on NBC gear being worn of the gas mask over the hood, not under the hood. You know, there's a reason, like, they have the NBC ridge around masks like this, is so... When you've got the hood on, it pulls tight against the ridge, making, you know, an even better seal, rather than you having the hood on underneath and then the mask done up over the hood. Um, I think um, I can demonstrate this, where all my DVDs are. On the, like, publicity shots they did for the crazies, um, the original Romero one. Now, where's my C's? There they are. I can get this out. Yep, look, you can see on there. Um, this is like obviously after the release. Oh, look, it's an S10 as well, isn't that quaint? Um, anyway, you can see on there that actually he's got the chemical hood under the mask as the straps are going over the chemical hood. Like I said, this is done loads and loads and loads of times. Um, but in reality, that will break the seal of the mask. Now, on that one, I think they've just done the red effect. It's not the actual outserts, because you can see there's no outserts on there. There's also the C3 of the same thing uh, there. But yeah. So, there you go. A bit of trivia for you there, that, um, yes, if you have a balaclava on under a gas mask, it will not make a face tight seal, or any sort of hood for that matter. Now, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe there is some kind of hood somewhere, some kind of balaclava and some sort of mask that will work fine together. I have never seen it, because of just how the science of a respirator, tight, you know, fitting tightly to your face works. Uh, you cannot pressure check if you've got a balaclava on. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that video, it wasn't overly long. But it's just one of those things that I keep seeing repeatedly done wrong in like every single video game and film where they have special forces guys. They always have to have a balaclava on to look cool and then the gas mask is on top of the balaclava. And for those of you interested, just to quickly show you, this is an actual flash hood. 
So what I'll do is I'll put this on the mask now quickly. Um, these are not always the easiest things to actually get on a mask, but basically the whole point of these, as I said, is to make the mask flame retardant. So when you actually use the mask, it doesn't, you know, burst into flames if you're breaching through somewhere. Okay, so to demonstrate the flash hood, what we're going to do is obviously grab the flash hood. Now I've got the mask on. Then I'm going to try and put it over my head in the correct way. Which again is easier said than done because this is a one size fits all hood and I don't have the larger size S10. But there you go. So that's basically the flash hood on the mask. So obviously it cuts your visual off a little bit. There's no real way of avoiding that because the elastic seems to keep riding up even with the outserts on. But the point is that the flash hood goes and the hoods always go over the mask to make an airtight seal. They never go under them.